Shikshin guys, I'm back on a new video. Yeah, talking about all the announcements made by Disney for Star Wars and Marvel for like movies, shows, and stuff. So make sure you guys like and subscribe and turn on the bell to be notified when I'm doing another video, when another video is made, and have fun with this one. All right, y'all. A lot of announcements were made by Disney. Lots of Star Wars announcements, like shows for the Disney Plus streaming service and also for Marvel. Some were movies, some were shows for Disney Plus. It's whole spiel, I will talk about them. But first I'm gonna get to the Marvel side with the Disney announcements. So the first one, a Fantastic Four movie. Okay, listen, the last one we can all agree was not the best. No offense to everybody that worked on it, but it was just terrible. It was literally terrible. But the very first one before that one, there was two of those. The one with Silver Surfer and stuff. That one was okay. With Jessica Alba in it, that one was okay. The thing looked like the thing. Okay? Doctor Doom looked like Doctor Doom. You know? Like, the thing was a horrible CGI in the other one. The thing was a costume in that one. So I prefer those over that over that one. You know? Doctor Doom didn't look like Doctor Doom in the reboot that we don't talk about. Because he didn't. Let's just be real. He didn't. But the one... I don't know when that one came out, but... Doctor Doom looked like Doctor Doom in that other one before the reboot. So... In the right hands of Marvel Studios, they cannot go wrong. Ding. They cannot go wrong with this one. So it's in, it's in good hands. Fantastic Four is in good hands. Now let's talk about the Hawkeye TV show. This one's going to be exciting. The Jerry Renner is obviously back as Hawkeye training his... I believe that's his daughter. I mean, I, I, it's his daughter. It's his daughter. Before I get trolled in the comments section by those comic geeks. It's his daughter. Okay? It's his daughter. But the show is going to be on Disney+. Plus. Boom. So it's going to be fun to watch that because Hawkeye is pretty cool in the Marvel Universe. Hawkeye is pretty cool. But his costume... Everyone was like saying he didn't have the costume. The costume would look weird on big screen. Let's be for real. But... I'm guessing that's the same daughter he was training in Avengers Endgame with the in the beginning part before she went to dust. So I mean, we didn't get a trailer for it, so hopefully later next year we get a trailer for it and that'll be great. Uh WandaVision now, which is dropping next month on the fifteenth. Looks like it's gonna be good. Saw, both, saw the trailer literally yesterday before I went to bed. So the movie's gonna look, I mean, the the show for Disney Plus is gonna look tremendous. It's gonna look tremendous. It doesn't look bad at all. I mean, nothing that Marvel does looks bad. I mean, besides the televised shows from what I hear. But that's all mumbo jumbo from people. Um, yeah, but the, the original people are returning. You know, the one that played Vision and Wanda, so it's gonna, looks like it's gonna be Chef's Kiss. Uh, we have Falcon and Winter Soldier. Literally just saw the trailer like hours ago before I started filming this. So that looks like it's gonna be awesome. It takes place at the events of, obviously, uh, at the end game where he gets the shield, but the trailer didn't show the shield. Maybe in the show it will. Hopefully. Hopefully. I know, when I put my hands together, I do that, but oh well. It's because my fingers kind of hurt. Got a little scratch. Anyways, getting off topic here. Loki, the show Loki. Yay, Thor's brother. Uh, he's coming back, which is cool. I mean, obviously he's coming back. I mean, now that takes place at the end game because I saw the trailer for that, and that is when he stole the Tesseract. So that for sure takes place at the end game. So far, this Marvel is, is looking pretty good. We have Miss Marvel. I believe dropping on Disney Plus. Oh, that's going to be a movie. One of them two. Most likely Disney Plus. I, I, I'm a 
assuming it's gonna be Disney Plus, but Ms. Marvel. So they're dropping every character. Every character is coming to either Disney Plus. Ooh. There we go. Um, every character is coming back to either Disney Plus or whatever. Movie or Disney Plus 1 and 2. Another very exciting announcement. Christian Bale is confirmed for the Thor. Love and, Love and Thunder, I guess that's like a villain probably. Probably a villain or one of them two things. Villain or hero, one of them two. But, and obviously the Captain Marvel sequel. Captain Marvel 2 is coming. I believe it's dropping in 2022, they said. So that'd be cool. Gotta wait like a whole, I mean, well, this year's almost over, so, I mean, uh, for now, a whole two years, but once it's 2021, a whole year. This one was kind of unexpected. Guardians of the Galaxy, the, uh, a holiday special. That is, hmm. all right, I mean, <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just like, mm, that's, well, James Gunn's confirmed to direct it, and I'm guessing it's gonna have everybody it so that should be fun i mean i'm like they celebrate the holidays up in that galaxy <laughs> drax what is this christmas <laughs> that'd be hilarious this one i believe they may need to make a t-shirt for the title i mean in a wasp quantum mania like that should be a shirt someone should get on that because i will buy that shirt like quantum mania that that needs to be a shirt like, that sounds like a shirt. It's a movie, but it sounds like a shirt. And that shirt needs to skyrocket to the top. Because I will buy that shirt. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. That's going to be good. Ooh, yeah. I remember I saw the second one in theaters with my brother. And at the end where they all just snapped away, me and Phil were like, dang. Well, time for Endgame. <laughs> That's going to be fun. And... She-Hulk. We're finally getting live-action She-Hulk. I mean, I believe they made, like, a cartoon movie show. One of them, too. It's probably an old one, but She-Hulk is coming. I mean, they they announced it. There is no... I mean, they announced it before, but it was, like, all under, the, like, rumors, under the table stuff. Now it's official. There's no date. It's still to be determined. They don't even... They don't know who's going to play she they, they never announced who's gonna play She Hawk, so I'm like, okay. Moon Knight is coming to. I, I forgot, is that Disney Plus or is that a movie? Movie. Disney Plus show or movie movie? Hmm. Forgot. No way to know. I think it's a Disney Plus show. Should be a movie, but I think it's a Disney Plus show. One. Secret. And on the next one, Secret Invasion. With this guy coming back, Samuel Jackson is Nick Fury, obviously. I don't think he's ever going to not be Nick Fury unless they reboot it, which I'd be dumb if they do. But Samuel Jackson, Secret Invasion is coming. And then we have Ironheart, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it is like a female Iron Man. If I remember correctly, because I think there was a comic book on that. That, I think, was a comic book on it. Either way, it's well, that one's guaranteed Disney Plus. Like, I remember 100% that one was Disney Plus. And then we have Armor Wars with Don Cheeto coming back as. Oh. Yay. Disney Plus, man. They're getting, they're announcing everything, and they're getting everything. And then we have an I Am Group show, which I'm like. That's the starlight behind that. All he says is, I am Groot. Uh, he says only three words. All right. Uh, I had to tear off my hoodie because I was starting to get warm in here. It's starting to get hot in here now. But yeah, I am Groot. I don't know how they're going to do that. I mean, what's the storyline behind that? I mean, he only says three words throughout all the movies, just three words. So I don't know. I don't know how that's going to go. Uh, well, that's all the things I have for Marvel. Now on to the bread and butter of my life. Star Wars. Kenobi. Oh my god. 
takes place 10 years after Revenge of the Sith. And Hayden Christensen, I hoping that's how you pronounce his name. If I'm butchering it, I'm sorry. But Hayden Christensen is coming back as Darth Vader. Oh my God. Tremendous. Tremendous. This is awesome, man. Ten years after Revenge of the Sith, we did... We've been talking about this Kenobi show ever since Disney Plus dropped. After the streaming service was launched, we've been hoping for this Kenobi show, and we finally got it. Finally got it. And then, obviously, I seen this one coming. Ahsoka with Rose Dawson. Come on. I seen it coming. I mean, she did not just sign for one appearance on The Mandalorian. Come on. She did not just sign on for one appearance. I mean, she could be on an upcoming episode or two or three for The Mandalorian, but I knew she, she did not just sign just to appear on the mandalorian so yeah i seen this one coming in disney plus thank you thank you for this thank you thank you ahsoka thank you ozero dawson is the goat living legend and then we have rangers of the new republic it's like a spin-off from the mandalorian um the people the rangers of the new republic on the mandalorian Following the downfall of the Empire in return of the Jedi. So, and that could be cool. And it will be cool. Because anything Star Wars is cool. To me. So, I will definitely check that out. So, we have Kenobi, Disney Plus show. Ahsoka, Disney Plus show. Rangers of the New Republic, Disney Plus show. Star Wars Visions. That is going to be like an anime Disney Plus show. But the, when it says Visions, it kind of looks like Moana to me. Like, when you look at the poster for Moana, with the words, and it says Moana, that's kind of like how Star Wars Visions says, says it. But either way, Disney Plus show. And then this one's, I don't know why they did this one. Or announced it now, literally now. But apparently Mandalorian Season 3... It's going to be dropping on Christmas in 2021. So we have to pretty much wait all the way until Christmas for season three. Well, it's not dropping on Christmas. It's dropping in December. Or they did say Christmas. Or yeah, they did say Christmas. So we pretty much have to wait half a year, practically, for season three of The Mandalorian. Which I don't... They could just drop it in October like they did the last two seasons. This one and last season. Why you, why you gotta make me wait a whole entire year? Well, no, this season, season two dropped in November, I think. Either way, why do we have to wait until December for season three? Come on, man. Don't do me like that. What else do we have? I got my notes. Oh, no, no, I got my notes. Willow. So this one, I believe, is just a Lucas film thing, either coming to Disney Plus or it's probably most likely a Disney Plus show. Uh, it's good. It takes place decades after Ron Howard's 1988 movie Willow. So I get so Ron Howard did a movie, I believe it was Willow. Um. In 1988 so this show willow takes place decades after ron howard's movie i believe it's just like a lucasfilm it has nothing to do with star wars i believe i didn't see willow so i really don't know but i'll check it out and then there's coming to disney plus is star wars bad batch huh i don't i this one i don't know about but it's star wars so obviously i'm gonna watch it um, I did look up any info on it, which I should have. Drats. Uh, then we have Star Wars and Endor. Endor. Oh, it's a well, pretty much this Star Wars one and Endor, I believe. It's like a prequel series to Rogue One, so I'm guessing this is the events leading up to Rogue One. It's gonna be on Disney Plus. 
So man, all these announcements that Disney made. Wow. Ah, so much. Like I'm I'm mainly excited for Obi-Wan and Ahsoka, really. If you ask me. Kenobi Did I say what I am Kenobi and Ahsoka is what I'm excited for, man. I'm so excited to blew up my brain like it's mush now my brain is mush because i destroyed my brain because of all this excitement but i'm just i'm and then in marvel i'm excited for everything all the marvel things i'm excited for well i mean for star wars obviously i'm gonna watch everything try to watch everything but kenobi and ahsoka i'm excited for the most because we've been waiting for kenobi for so long and then Ahsoka, obviously, he, she did good in The Mandalorian, so let's see how this one plays out. Which is not going to disappoint. Come on. But Marvel and Star Wars, man, I'm excited for everything that I just listed. I'm excited for everything. Nothing is going to disappoint. Nothing is going to disappoint. And that's the beauty of liking everything and not hating everything because everything... You like everything, everything turns out to be you wanted to. But when they announced everything, I was like, oh. This is going to be fun. I'm so glad I got it. I got Disney Plus mainly for The Mandalorian. But then I noticed, like, all the stuff was on there. So all the classic movies and stuff around there. So I'm like, all right, I'll keep I'll do it. All right, this is fun. <laughs> but yeah, this whole list is just excited. Exciting. Like, I don't know if you guys seen the water boy with a hillbilly was like rubbing his. Yeah, you guys get it, but it's exciting. Can't wait for it. I can't wait for all these things to drop. Some of them are dropping soon. Some of them are dropping late 2021. Everything's going to be all exciting and you guys should get Disney Plus just to check out Mandalorian, obviously, and everything Star Wars and Marvel that they have on Disney Plus. This announcement was exciting to see. All these things are just going to be tremendous. It's all going to be fun and exciting, and I can't wait. I love Star Wars and comic books, so when all this was just announced, I couldn't stop liking everything. I just liking and sharing and commenting on it and tweeting it, and it was just madness. Like, I couldn't stop. You know, I just couldn't stop. But everything, it's just going to be wild. And I can't wait, especially for, I this was not an announcement by any means. But when Spider-Man 3, when they announced everybody might come back, dude, that movie was going to be so insane. That movie was going to be so insane. And kind of like how everything that they announced is going to be insane. Like She-Hulk. Well, they had, and I forgot with Selma Hayek in it, the new one, Essentials, I think, and the, the, I'll look it up later, but yeah, everything that they announced is going to be bananas. The Fantastic Four, I mean, we're, we're going to get a right movie this time with connections to all of them. If I'm not mistaken, there was an Easter egg for the Fantastic Four in Spider-Man Far From Home for like the next phase in phase four, I believe. But there is an Easter egg. You guys should check that out. But And then with Secret Invasions and, you know, Hawkeye. Come on. Come on. Who is not excited for this? Come on. You gotta be crazy to not be excited for this list. I am. My balls are the wallet for this. It's bananas. This list is bananas. This is my Coachella list. Like when suburb white kids go, that's for Coachella. This is essentially my Coachella list. Like this lineup is insane. Yeah, I'm not much of a Coachella guy. <laughs> no. Too many people, no. But essentially, this is my Coachella list. This right here. Everything is just bananas. And it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. See, tune in for my next video, guys. Which probably be when I have another good idea. 
like this one. And I will see you guys next time. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and turn on the bell to be notified when I'm doing another video again. And I will see you guys later. This is the one I'm looking forward to the most. The Fantastic Four movie. I mean, it's not going to be on Disney+. Plus, But it was also part of the Disney announcement. Other than the Disney... Oh, never mind. Yeah, never mind indeed. <laughs>